Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo has urged leaders of destination countries to insist on repatriation of illicit funds and proceeds. Oshimbajo's spokesman, Laolua Konde, in a statement on Monday in Abuja, said the vice president made the submission at the virtual inauguration of a publication by the UN Conference on Trade and Development on the impact of illicit financial flows on Africa's development. He also called for an overhaul of the international tax system in order to tackle the scourge. Illicit financial flows continue to impede these efforts and undermine continental and global actions for the sustenance of SDG gains and the acceleration of the achievement of sustainable development in this decade of action and delivery. They undermine the foundations of democracy and provide the financial in incentives for terrorist activities and fuel conflicts on the continent. In the context of COVID-19, such lack of resources and limited fiscal space gives an impulse to austerity which is the last thing our economies need at a time of deep recessions. As several studies have shown, including the report of the high-level panel on illicit financial flows from Africa, the commercial form of illicit financial flows, especially tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance, accounts for up to 65% of illicit financial flows. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.